On this episode of Lift Arc Builds, we convert this container into an outdoor bar for a local brewery. Yeah, what he said. What's up? This is Evan. He makes good beer. You excited? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yes, sir. Plenty of room. And what is it going to be used for? Seating, covered, shade, and then some to anchor uh, lights and sun, sun sails, too. Yeah, I'm curious how this trailer works. It's going to have to. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably that way, just a little bit. Well, he, what's he brought? The straight forward? Yep, straight forward. He's got a forklift. Yeah, he's got a forklift, but we need to push it. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Drop it right there. Drop it like it's high. That was kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dead bodies. I'm gonna film for the. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is the. Is there a seal? This is the beginning of the video that they'll air on the court case. Gotta open this one too. Hold that. Hey. No bodies. No, it's clean. <laughs> Are you sure about that? How disappointing. You could have a sauna in here. God. <laughs> well, at least the floor's flat. Yeah. That's a good thing. Cool. It's not bad at all, man. So I'm here with Evan, Golden Cactus. Hey, guys. And uh, <laughs> what the hell is he doing with this, you might be asking. Do you want to answer that? I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> You're good. supposed to show me. This is your, no, this I, is your domain. Yeah, but it's your idea. Chris is the designer. Chris. Chris isn't here. It's going to be an outdoor seating situation, indoor outdoor seating situation. So the idea is that we'll cut a big hole out of this side, leave the corner column, and remove the doors so that when people are sitting on this beautiful patio, very sunny, they'll have a shady spot to sit. And eventually we'll do another one over there. Okay, today is the day we're gonna start cutting open the container over there at Golden Cactus. And I'm just getting some tools ready, about to walk across the street. Got my torch set up. Got some various protective gear, some cones. They're not open right now, so no one will be around. It'll be a nice, safe, controlled environment. But let's head over there and check in with Evan. <laughs> Here's 
here we are, and uh, yesterday I made some custom spacers that I forgot to film. But basically each corner of the container needed to be raised a different amount. Inch and a half, three quarters of an inch, three and a half inches over here. So not only to take up for the fact that the ground is unlevel, but we needed to further shim it to where if any water got inside, it would drain and not pool in the back. So it's actually tilted a little this way and a little that way, just a bit. And then yesterday we marked out our cut lines. So this will be a bar, bar top until there, and then we'll cut all the way down and then all of this gets cut out. Well, it turns out I'll have a little help today. I'm here with Doug, who used to, where'd you used to teach metalworking? Yeah, at North Carolina School of the Arts. Right on. Yeah. Yep. So, got a little, brought in the heavy guns today to help. But we're just gonna get set up and start cutting. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say this for the camera and for you. My thought was to go over all my cut lines with a cutoff wheel, just to gouge. That way when we start cutting, though, I don't lose the line. So, Sorry. we'll start there and move forward. <laughs> We got it. Hell yeah. First hole made. Good job. What can I get you today, sir? <laughs> Goddamn beer. We're all out, sorry. Goddamn beer. All out of beer. <laughs> hey, did you know yesterday was National Beer Day? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Well, we made the first hole. This I did something. Bar. Evan yeah. caught it. I, I caught it a Look little. This guy. Sort of, kind of. Look at those, <laughs> look at those brand new gloves. No. Brand <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, the torch is working well. It's pretty thin stuff. If, if you're wondering out there how thick the walls of a container are, I, they're less than eighth of an inch, I think. Or maybe right at eight. 11, 12 gauge, something like that. It gets its strength from the geometry not necessarily the Still thickness heavy of the for metal these 10 gauges. yeah <laughs> okay well they were thinking this could uh, be the awning that goes over the bar area but we'll just set it aside for now and then now we got to cut out that entire side all the way to the ground against that wall over there nice that's a piece of fucking metal sure is man yeah. well said We'll have to put a strengthening beam on the back side, probably. Yeah. And then brackets to come out to hold the bar top. It's gonna be fun though, this is cool. This Very already cool. feels neat. Yeah, it's already cool. Yeah. Very cool. Even if we stop here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep cutting. Over here at Golden Cactus, uh, cut looks great. Um, Doug, one of the guys that I was here with last time, went back over a lot of the cuts and smoothed them out, grinded them flat because they are uh, continually open to the public, so we can't leave anything dangerous and sharp. Did a great job, everything looks good. Uh, today's venture is gonna be to cut these doors off. Again, I don't have all day to work on this today either, but I'm hoping in an hour or two, uh, Evan and I can have these doors off. The plan is to use this jack to lift them a little bit and get some pressure off the hinges. I'll cut the hinge pin up top, then jack the door up and cut the hinge pin at the bottom. And hopefully that lets everything go. We've got four pins to cut per door. And then we'll lay the door back like this on some dollies and uh, roll it somewhere where uh, they can deal with it, but it's out of the way. So I'm gonna get set up. I got my quarter band, cutoff wheel, protection. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna cut the tops of the pins while I'm waiting on Evan to get here and uh, 
see how easy that is. They are hardened. Don't think a bandsaw is gonna work. Cut off wheel it is. It's working. I only have one more cut actually. This whole door is going to come off. We're back over here at Golden Cactus to continue the container overhaul. Today's goal is what, Wyatt? We're getting the support for the bar, for the platform table, and then uh, after that, we're gonna be working on an awning. We're gonna be putting a column in right here to go in between the bar and the open section, help give it a little rigidity and hold it into square. Cause this whole wall is kind of leaning out a little bit. So we want to fix that. And then that piece is gonna go along this top edge, weld to these sections. And then we got some flat bar, Wyatt prefab yesterday with some holes that will go like this to support the future bar top. And then some gussets. And then once that's all done, we'll be taking that big piece right there and welding it up there for an awning to hang out this way. Uh, we're lucky enough to have an outlet here that was originally for food trucks. So we got 220 so we can power the welder. And this brewery is literally right across the street from Lift Arc, so it could not be more convenient. That's enough talking, let's do some work. <music> So here's where we're at. We've got the top of the column welded in. We've got the cross piece welded in. We've got a few lags in the base plate. Which sucked, because lags don't like metal. Lags okay. don't like metal. But now we're just clamping this top part of the wall to the cross beam. We're gonna weld across. But yeah, here, you would film the first few welds. Stack dimes with a big welder. Cheat. got sensitive ears and sensitive eyes. He's such a sensitive guy. I, I spent a lot of money on these custom molded, disgusting, but- And yeah, how often do you clean those? These are, I do. Really? I just am a disgusting person, so. <laughs> everything around me gets dirty. I am the pig pen of the group. A little bit, that's okay. These are his good pants. <laughs> Here's my church pants. <laughs> that's right. This is pretty much done. I'm a big fan of it. Um, everything's smooth, ground down, it's level. Oh, I love the look of that too. It's yeah. There. Oh, that. Yoink. We got that big level just for the people's satisfaction. I've already checked it, but. Let's go on this side. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, 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 oh, look at that sun. bubble. 
Oh my goodness. Bang. Not only is it level, but they're all the same height. So we're good. Great. Um, now we can start to think about the awning. I like the progress we're making and we should just roll with it. One thought I had was to take it back to the shop and weld a structure underneath it. If we do a structure, we only need three sides of a structure. Mm -hmm. If anything, at least one bar on the far end to keep it flat. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna take this short piece because it's easier to manage with the big piece. We kind of put a, the kibosh on the big piece. This small, short piece is gonna be the awning over the bar and there'll be no awning over the backside because you don't need it, really. And if they want one later, we can cut the other piece down. Problem is, and you can see it, I'm backed up against this parking block or this six by six. And uh, that's all the space we have to lift this into position be almost impossible to do the bigger piece so being that we want to get to some point of completion today we're just going to do this so we got to clean up that edge we got to remove the paint off of that and then we'll lift it up might as well just kind of weld it on and then leave the forks as support while we build the gussets and all that Welcome back. Last day of the container overhaul. Uh, let's show them what we did. So we got this done. We got a C, an inch and a half square tubing structure underneath it. Uh, this side is going to be welded to the top of the container. And then that side is going to hang out. And we built, we built uh, gussets as well. So we'll have triangular braces going back down to the column we put in and then the other corner of the container. We're good, man. We need to finish today. It's Friday, so I'm hoping to have it done by the weekend. So when we're hanging out at the brewery drinking beer, we get to kick back and look it's at our- It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Well, better we get our awning finished. <laughs> Clean the entire width of it. Loud noise. I would say it's good. I would get touching what you can and tack it and then lower the lower the forks, bill, lower the forks in the middle will drop. Yeah, but you may have to slide a, a cutting wheel in there. I don't know, this side isn't touching exactly. Yeah, it's touching here, so we gotta That's what I was thinking, you might, you might have to be. And those gaps are way bigger than I thought. Yeah. yeah. But they're also above too, which isn't helping the visuals. True. Well, True. Get, get, Get in line with it. What if we lower down just to see how big those gaps are? Yeah, big. Let's see if it's weldable. Big. Let's, Let's, use Let's use some soap stuff. <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Oh, see shit. That? I broke my screen protector. <laughs> oh, that's a screen protector? Uh, okay. Whew. That's hilarious. I was able to check. Maybe my curse is just been You want to cut this here, or should we try to take it back to the shop? I think just here. We'll flip it over on the forklift.
much better. Hey, Mr. Graham. Oh, you know. How are you? Fuck are you? I'm great. Oh, good morning. A camera. Hello. <laughs> Who would you always expect to see first? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Mr. Evan Graham. Hey guys, what's up? Just doing a little social media stuff. Heck yeah. Follow Golden Cactus on Instagram, even if you're not local. I don't care where you live. Follow this guy. <laughs> Do you like beer? I don't even care if you like beer. I don't even like beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say never chase your passion because then it just it loses becomes work. Life. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of work. I hate metal work. Lots of gross beer. Yeah. <laughs> not for me. There's gonna be a bar, a sectional, and a couple other chairs. Let's do an MTV Cribs walkthrough. Yeah. Bar top. Back corner will have sectionals and then a coffee table. There'll be lights on the inside. There'll be a bar top on the back. Bar stools here. Harley Davidson. Bar stools back here and uh, beer, obviously. <gasps> Thanks for watching.